Is there anything else that uh, customers have been asking for in terms of um, helping them with uh, method development on the mass size of 3,000? Yeah, so sometimes people don't have very much sample to measure, so they'll only have a small mass of sample available, and they're worried about how they're going to develop a method on such small masses of sample. So you might say they have a sample, what, about this size? <laughs> well, sometimes even smaller than that. Even smaller? Yeah. OK, Debbie, well, you've answered one challenge. Is there something that you can provide Anne to help her in this case as well? Well, our development team have also been really busy working towards helping our customers at this end of the scale as well. And what we have is this new cuvette. And this allows you to measure just six or seven millilitres of dispersant. So, yes, you can measure very small volumes of material. So, Anne, I'll let you show us how that works. Thank you very much, Debbie. OK, so this is a, the cuvette for the Hydro SV dispersion unit. And what it is is a simple cuvette. It has a magnetic stirrer bar. It's also got this asymmetric design that lets us suspend and representatively sample particles up to about 200 micron in size. So it's a very simple design, and we can measure in about six to seven mils of dispersion. So thanks for that, Debbie. Um, the cuvette slots into the Hydro SV cell. So we'll just try and pop that in there. And we'll lock that into place. And what we can then do is turn on the stir. So that's turning, starting to stir the magnetic flea. And we're going to look at a sample that's towards the larger end of the size range for the SV. So I'm going to turn the stir speed up to about 1,700 RPM. You just want to show the pipette access as well, Anne? Yes, you pop before it in, I put it in. It's a bit hard to see. It's a good point. So we want to be able to add the sample when the, the cell is in the optical bench so that we can control the obscuration at which we make a measurement. So what we've got on the front is a pipette port. And what that does is allows us to put this long pipette all the way down so that it's just above the top of the cuvette so we can drop the sample directly into the cuvette and control the obscuration at which we make a measurement. There we go. So what I'm going to do is just slot this into the measurement cell. There we go. And I'll start up a measurement on the Master Sizer 3000. Okay, we'll start up the manual measurement. And like any diffraction measurement, what we'll do first is we'll do an alignment and a background. And then I'll drop in some sample, get it to the right kind of obscuration, and then start measuring. So I'm going to measure that background signal and then just prepare some sample to measure. So what I'm going to, this sample we've just dispersed. Uh, in water with a little bit of surfactant. And I'm going to drop that just down here. And we're going to add some sample until we get the right kind of obscuration range. So just drop a little bit more in. There we go. And then we'll start the measurement on the master size of 3000. And I've set it up to do a few repeat measurements. That'll let us make sure that the sample is nicely dispersed that the results are stable and we're suspending all the particles in the sample. Well, what's so, the size of this sample, Anne? So it's, it's about um, 50 micron D50, the median particle size, but you can see on here we've got particles up to nearly 200 micron in size. And what we're looking at is the trend view to see that the particle size remains nice and stable.